Give me your badge number right now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they dumped the microwave out of this suspicious car right here. You mean when you walk right up on your squad? Are you illiterate? I don't know if you should be a cop if you're illiterate. Why are you shining me with the fucking flashlight? Because I can't see you. I want to be able to illuminate who I'm looking at, right? You're a dumb bitch. Okay, thank you're you. You're a dumb bitch. Thank you. Fuck you. So, so if I shine you with a flashlight, would that be cool? I appreciate it. I don't know who you are, so of course I'm going to try. Why are you shining me in my right? fucking eyes, you asshole? Okay. You are an asshole. Thank you. Can I get your badge number right now? I guess you may not know your own policies, but here I've I've looked them up for you to, to try to train you a little better since uh, apparently you think you don't answer to me. So it says here 5-104.01 professional policing. Be courteous, respectful, polite, and professional. And then uh, a bullet point there is provide name and badge number when requested, preferably in writing or on a business card. So if you don't know that that's part of your policy to identify something very, very basic, then why are you even in policing? I want your badge number. This is why badge number. This is why you guys are pieces of shit. That's why they're getting sued. That's why everybody wants to sue Minneapolis police. Minneapolis police. <laughs> Fucking shining me in the eyes on purpose. Don't you love it, girl? No. That was her right there. Yeah, it was. It's, it's car 324. Oh, I'm gonna park right here. Look at them trying to back look at them trying to back up. Oh my god, that's so funny. Are you serious? I thought he was gonna try and pull us over. Dude, are they see but I don't know, are they that dumb? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna shine us in the face of a flashlight. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. Let's go walk up on them. Let's do it. Oh my God! What if we get? What if we get? Uh, what if we get? Mohammed Mohammed Nord. Who's that? I don't know. So this is actually uh, the story about Mohammed Nord. He uh, murdered Justine Demond, um, and it took eight months before he was even charged, and then another fifteen months before he was sentenced. So. I mean, once you kill somebody as a police officer, you, you still get a lot of time to run around and finish up your life before you only do 12 and a half years in prison. So, I mean, how, how long is he actually going to serve for that? It's kind of, he took somebody's life, man. Smells like dead, something dead, doesn't it? There's a suspicious car in the alley right here. We're, we're doing a we're doing a check on it. Oh, suspicious car is moving. Looks like they hit a microwave. Maybe they dumped the microwave out of this suspicious car right here. Oh, here comes the spotlight, dude. I seen the spotlight move. God, you guys are dumb. <laughs> what if I just walk behind your squad car then? <laughs> oh god. These guys are funny. What's your clowns? What's your clowns? Oh my god, they even spotlighted us too. Holy shit, dude. Wow. <sighs> All right, we got uh, you know what? So I just made an account with the uh, Minneapolis data request stuff. Uh, you know, I'm from St. Paul, so I'm not really familiar with the Minneapolis stuff. It's my first time. But requesters that are not required to identify themselves, not providing this information, will prevent the ability to contact you to clarify your request or notify you of extra costs or delays. Well, I gave you my email address, so this doesn't even matter. I had to give my email address to get a data request in. So if you can't use my email address to contact me, that doesn't even make any sense logically. So this is just like a cop-out, automatically built in, 
first one of the first bullet points that you see. Like I gave you my email address. Um, I'm not giving you my first and last name. That's not necessary for a data request. All right, so please describe the incident for as much information.